During the last three years, an extraordinary engineering project has been underway in Monterey County. Just 20 miles off the coast, the Carmel River is coming alive again. The massive restoration project includes the rerouting of the Carmel River, the installation of new habitat from the ground up, which will assist in the resurgence of the steelhead trout and other threatened wildlife. But this isn't just a story about an engineering marvel. This is a story of public and private cooperation on a massive scale between California American Water and numerous federal, state, and local agencies who have worked together to accomplish the removal of the San Clemente Dam, the largest project of its kind in California state history. But first, a little bit of history about the dam. The San Clemente Dam was built in 1921 the 106-foot concrete arch dam was located about 20 miles from the coast at the confluence of the Carmel River and the San Clemente Creek. When the dam was constructed, it had a reservoir storage capacity of 1,400 acre feet. Over the years, the dam filled with more than 2.5 million cubic yards of sediment. As of 2008, only 70 acre feet of capacity remained. To make matters worse, in the early 90s, the California Department of Water Resources Division of Safety of Dams determined the dam could fail during a major earthquake or flood. Many solutions were examined. The dam could be buttressed, which would solve the seismic safety concerns, but would still leave a dam of only 10% capacity, and one that remained a major impediment to fish passage. Another idea was dredging the dam but that would require more than 250,000 truckloads of sediment to be removed. This option was considered infeasible. Through the cooperative efforts of California American Water, federal and state agencies, a bold and innovative plan was developed. The plan called for a redistribution of sediment to be used in the construction of a sediment stockpile, a stabilized sediment slope, and a diversion dike that would guide the river on a new route cut through the old dam site. So, in 2013, and after more than a decade of planning, the largest dam removal project in California state history began. It took about two years to reshape the new river route, unearth and relocate the sediment. Then began the work of rebuilding a new habitat that would benefit the steelhead trout and other threatened wildlife, whose numbers had dwindled dramatically during the dam's operations. After months of specialized habitat construction, the Carmel River has now taken shape into the final product that exists today. The project provides more than 25 miles of unimpaired access to essential spawning and rearing habitat. It restores the river's natural sediment flow. It also provides a healthier environment to the California red-legged frog. And ultimately, it provides new life to a once struggling river. This is really one of, this is really a major partnership and I think it's really gonna, we, we all hope it'll be the wave of the future having each partner focus on not only its own needs, but the needs of others, um, Calam being responsive to our fish needs, we being responsive to their, um, 
design and water delivery needs. I think that that is what we really want to um, um, have our staff get out of it, that new approach of... This is so exciting because it's been so long in coming. Uh, I've been in multiple incarnations working on this project, whether it was a member of the State Assembly or now Secretary of, for Natural Resources, and in the Resources Agency, the Coastal Conservancy, the Wildlife Conservation Board, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, the Department of Water Resources, and the Division of Dam Safety. There are many, many different agencies uh, in my protocol that have been working on this. And it's taken a long time because there have been many options, and now it's moving and it's very exciting. At a different scale, this project is Exhibit A for imagining the future and making the future a reality through joint, careful, joint, collaborative problem so it's a solving. tribute to and everybody who participated, uh, again, federal, state, local officials, CALAM, private sector, uh, and the environmental organizations that have pulled together to take a vision and ground it in good engineering and sound environmental and habitat preservation vision. There's many firsts here that have been uh, realized through this project. So it's, and it's really uh, quite an innovative project and so I think for the, for the steelhead on the Carmel River it's a great opportunity to come back, to bring them back, to bring this river back to life.